Hello! So today I just want to share with you my layering combinations for August of 2023. So to start off the month, I was using Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy, which is a delightful candy scent. I mean, a lot of people say it smells like champagne toast, and I think it does smell similar. So it has like that sweetness and like the bubbliness. It's really, really nice. And so I decided to pair it with Ariana Grande's Thank You Next 2.0 which is way better than the original. Like if you don't like the original, definitely try to find the 2.0 because it's completely different. This one is like super fruity and has marshmallow, has like strawberries and pomegranate and I think apple, like it's just absolutely delicious. And I love it. I wish it would have came in a bigger size, but I know it was a special edition. I think it's actually starting to show up now at like TJ Maxx and stuff. I don't know if I would repurchase it because I am almost done with this bottle, but I really enjoy it. And together, this was great. Next, I decided to pair my Tutti Fruity Candy with Festive Fantasy by Britney Spears. And I love this perfume. I talked about it, I think, a month or two ago. And it just it smells like candy. Like, it's fruity and has vanilla and sugar. And it's just so nice. And it's completely different than the original Fantasy, in my opinion. And together, this was such a good combination. I love this one. My final layering combination for Tutti Fruity Candy is Skylar's Boardwalk Delight. I've talked about this perfume too because I just love it. It is perfection. Like I don't have a single thing wrong with it. I've already bought a backup of it because you can see my bottle's like already half gone. It is perfect. It's cotton candy. It is raspberries. It is coconut. It is delicious. It smells a lot like pastel skies except for instead of coconut musk, it has coconut milk. So it's not as musky i don't know how to explain like there's something in pastel skies that makes me not love it i like it but i don't love it but this i love it's like that creaminess of the milk and it just makes all the difference in the world i love this perfume i hope they never get rid of it and this was delicious together next i moved on to raspberry jam donut this is one of the best gourmand scents ever it smells just like a raspberry donut it is so good and it's so strong it's such a nice scent. I decided to pair my donut shop oil from Sugar Milk Co., which actually does smell like a raspberry jam donut. So, I mean, it goes perfectly together. And on top of that, I put La Vie Espelle Intense Mint, which is my favorite out of the three that I have. This one has raspberry in it, and it's a lot sweeter than the other ones. And I don't really smell the patchouli in this one. My husband does, though, because I was wearing this, and he came home, and he's like, oh, mom's wearing patchouli again. And... I don't know. I can't smell it, but I absolutely love this. It was delicious. For my next combination with Raspberry Jam Donut, I again used the Donut Shop Oil from Sugar Milk Co. And then I paired this Strawberry Jelly Donut perfume that I got off Etsy from a shop called Sugar Me Sweet. I talked about her last month. And this was delicious. So I've never had a Strawberry Jelly Donut. I didn't know they actually made Strawberry Jelly Donuts. <laughs> like, like Donut shops I've ever been to have always only had raspberry or like lemon, but I mean this smells delicious. It just smells like a sweet berry and you can smell the donut like it. It's good. It's awesome. It's a little different than raspberry jam donut. It's not as sharp like with that raspberry scent, but I really like this. This is really nice. My last layering combo with raspberry jam donut was of course pink sugar. Like it's a classic. It's delicious. It lasts forever <laughs> like it's just a great scent and it adds sweetness to anything and I know I paired these together before and I've seen other people pair this together before so like this isn't like a new combination or anything but it's a good one so if you have this definitely try it out it's amazing the next scent I moved on to is bubblegum pop which is like such a good pink bubblegum scent like I love this scent and I really wish that they'd bring it back in like a full collection because they didn't give us any lotion or body cream to go with it so I decided to pair it with Pink Watermelon Blast Body Cream, which smells like a watermelon candy. So it was basically just like a watermelon bubblicious scent, which was absolutely amazing on its own. And then I decided to pair on top of that my Paris Hilton Heiress perfume. I've had this perfume for probably almost a year and I've never used it. I knew it smelled nice because I smelled it when I bought it, but it was just kind of like forgotten about. So I decided to pull it out and give it a shot and it is absolutely amazing like I love this perfume like it's great for an affordable perfume it has like a bazillion notes but it's basically like just really sweet and 
fun and happy. I don't know. People say that it has like a bubblegum quality, which I can kind of see. Like, I don't know. I don't think there's anything in there that necessarily would give it a bubblegum quality, but I can see that. Maybe it's just all the fruits blending together, but it's really, really nice. Like if you've never smelled it, give it a shot. It's pretty good. So next I decided to pair my Pink Watermelon Blast and Bubblegum Pop with Fantasy by Britney Spears. So this is the original, the OG, which is not my favorite. Like it's, it's kind of tart. I don't know how else to explain it, but the sweetness from the Watermelon Blast and the Bubblegum Pop kind of help this perfume out like I enjoyed it so much more using it with this combination than I have in past combinations I think I always used it more with fruity scents and so like the sweetness of this scent helped bring out the sweetness that's in fantasy because I mean there's cupcake and white chocolate in there and I could never smell that before but I could actually smell it this time and this was really nice I like this one a lot and for my last layering combination with Pink Watermelon Blast and Bubblegum Pop, I decided to use Victoria's Secret's Tease Sugar Floor, which is arguably one of the best flankers of teas that they ever made. And people are selling this for crazy prices on eBay, which is ridiculous. Like, don't do that. I saw one of those, like, $200 or something. Someone was asking for a bottle. That's crazy. Like, hopefully one day they bring it back for semi-annual or something because it, it truly is an amazing fragrance. It is fruity and sweet. It has like caramel and bubble gum and apple. Like it's just delicious. And this went perfectly with Pink Watermelon Blast and Bubble Gum Pop. Next, I moved on to Boardwalk Taffy slash Cotton Candy Clouds. They are the same scent, which is just basically cotton candy. It smells just so sweet. It's delicious. It's a great scent. It's great for pairing and layering and everything else. And I decided to pair my Cotton Candy Oil by Sugar Moco, just to add another layer of cotton candy goodness. And then on top of that, I also put Blackberry Jam. So this is a scent that I got from an Etsy shop called Made by Bloom. So when I first got this scent, I wasn't really happy with it. Like it has musk in it. And when I first got it, it was super musky. And like the blackberries are really bitter. But as you can see by like the color of the perfume it has aged so now the sweetness of the blackberries has come out the musk has died down and now it's absolutely delicious and I cannot wait to pair it with so many things like I love it now I'm glad I held on to it this was awesome next I moved on to pair boardwalk taffy with again the cotton candy oil by sugar milk co and then signorino mysterioso by salvatore ferragamo I love this perfume. I've talked about it a million times, but I felt like it hadn't gotten any love for a while. So I definitely wanted to pull it out and get some use out of it. It's just a delicious like blackberry vanilla. It has some patchouli in it, but I don't really smell it. But I think that's kind of what makes it last longer. Like it's a long lasting perfume, but it's super sweet and I just love it. I adore this perfume and it always goes well with Boardwalk Taffy. So my final layering combination for Boardwalk Taffy, I again used the Cotton Candy Oil by Sugar Milk Co. And then I used Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. I used a lot of Britney Spears perfumes this month, but that's okay. Like, I have a bunch. They gotta be used. But I love this one. This is my favorite out of all the ones that I have. And this one is, just has sweet berries in it and vanilla. Like, I just love this perfume, which is so funny because I realize that a lot of the perfumes that I like have berries and vanilla in them. So I guess that's just me. Take it or leave it. I'm a berries and vanilla kind of girl. But this one is so good and is my favorite. And this combination, perfection. So next I moved on to Midnight Swim. This is just a really nice aquatic scent. I'm not exactly sure what the notes are. I don't really remember. But I do know that you can smell like the water that's in it. And it but it's sweet too. Like it's not super salty, like saltwater breeze, which actually is what I paired it with. It's funny because I used to hate saltwater breeze, but I had the perfume. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it because it's just going to sit there and collect dust otherwise. And it smelled a lot better this time around. Maybe it was because it had the midnight swim with it. So that salt was kind of not as potent. Like, that's why I don't like saltwater breeze is because the salt is so potent. Like, ugh, I don't like it <laughs> by itself. But together, this was nice. So next I used Midnight Swim with my Porto Neroli by Mason Alhambra. So this is their dupe for Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford, I do believe, which is just like a citrusy aquatic scent. 
I don't really know how I feel about this perfume slash cologne, whatever it is. The citrus is very sharp and that stays throughout the whole thing. So usually if you have like a citrus scent, like it'll, the citrus will die down and usually it'll kind of sweeten up. This one does not. And so the Midnight Swim kind of helped it, but I'm, I don't love this cologne slash perfume, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter, but we'll see. I mean, it's a big bottle, so I don't know if I'm ever going to use the whole thing, but I'm not going to give up on it. Definitely try to pair it with something else, maybe something citrusy, maybe with sun wash citrus or something like that and see what happens. But the Midnight Swim was nice. So my last layering combination for Midnight Swim is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue, Love is Love. So this one has that, you know, sharp citrus note in the beginning, but then it dies down to sweet. And that's what I was talking about in the previous one. But this one's nice. Like it opens with that citrus, but then it has like ice cream and whipped cream and raspberry. Like it's really, really pretty once it dries down. I don't particularly like it on for a shot, but like after a while it smells really nice. And it was good with the Midnight Swim. So next I moved on to Pink Pineapple Sunrise, which is the most juicy, delicious, sugary pineapple scent ever. I love this scent. It's basically like pineapple and sugar, and it's delicious. It's so good. And I decided to pair it with Escada Miami Blossom, which is basically like a burst of fruit and then like a little bit of floral. The floral is very minimal. Like it's not a scary floral because I don't like, I don't like those. <laughs> but this was nice together. I like this one. Next up, I decided to pair my Pink Pineapple Sunrise with Yara by La Taffa. So this is just a really nice, pretty, sweet scent. It has berries in it, it has vanilla in it. Of course it does, right? But then it also has a couple of other things. It has like tangerine and sandalwood, but it's just, it goes together so nice. Like if you haven't tried this, it's definitely worth a shot. I know it went viral on TikTok, so like the prices went crazy for a while. But I think they're coming back down now. But it's... It's definitely an affordable fragrance. I think it was like $30 on Amazon and it's a big bottle. Like Middle Eastern fragrances are where it's at. Like you can get such a good deal for your money. Their fragrances are strong. They last a long time. Like they're just amazing and they're usually relatively inexpensive. But this was just really nice and it went great with the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. It was just like a sugary bowl of fruit. It's awesome. My last layering combination for Pink Pineapple Sunrise is Sugarful Sunshine by Michelle Germain, which is just a sweet, sugary pineapple scent. It's really amazing. And of course, it's going to go great with Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Like, I don't think it could go better with anything else. So this is like a no-brainer pair. And it's amazing. My only complaint with the Sugarful bottles is that when you spray them, it gets all over the top. So definitely have to wipe them off a lot. I just, I love the bottle. It's super cute. It looks like an old school sugar canister. I just wish that it would not get all over the top whenever I used it. Only complaint. But otherwise, great. Next, I moved on to Margarita Cupcake, which is a super delicious scent. It smells like a citrus cupcake. I mean, it's all in the name, right? But it's so good. I love it. And it gets better as it dries. Like when it first comes out, it is super citrusy. But as it dries, you can really smell that cake. And I decided to pair it with Lolita Land by Lolita Lampica, which to me, this just smells like an orange creamsicle. It is super warm and it is delicious and it is strong. I actually wore this on a day that I went and got my hair done and my hairdresser was like, you smell so good. I'm like, thank you. So it is something right. This was great. Next for Margarita Cupcake, I used my Versace Eros Pore Femme. So this is the EDP, not the EDT. I have heard that the EDT smells way better than the EDP, which I haven't smelled it yet, so I don't know. But this one smells nice. It's basically just like a citrusy, a little bit floral, musky. Like, it's nothing like super special, but it's a nice scent. And I'll definitely use it. And this was nice together. I mean, the Margarita Cupcake definitely gave it more gourmand feel, which is right up my alley. So, but this was nice. So my last layering combination for Margarita Cupcake, I decided to use Vanilla Cake by Montal. I've talked about this perfume before. Like, you'd think it would be super gourmand and, like, right up my alley. But there's something in it that throws it off for me. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't smell like a birthday cake. <laughs> like, to me, that's what it should smell like. But I don't hate it. Like, I'm definitely going to use it up. And it went nice with the margarita cupcake. It kind of just helped bring out more of that cakiness that is already in there. And it was fine. Not my favorite, but it was fine. 
So next I moved on to Sunshine Mimosa, which I love this scent. It's like champagne and citrus. It's just such a good scent. It doesn't smell like champagne toast, but it's absolutely delicious. I love this one. It's bright and bubbly. It just makes me happy. And I decided to pair my Pacifica Sunrise Moon, which is like a peach jasmine scent. I don't really love this scent. I finished it up. I'm happy it's gone. It just, I don't know. I think the jasmine was too much for me, or maybe it was the mustiness of the peach. I'm not sure. There was something in this that I did not like. But it's gone now, so sayonara. So next, I decided to pair my Sunshine Mimosa with Dazzle by Paris Hilton, which I absolutely love this perfume. It's really pretty. It has, like, cherry and peach and champagne. It has a little bit of patchouli in the base. Like, it's just a really beautiful perfume. She has some really nice fragrances. I really have to say that about her. She's done a really good job. And so this went together perfectly, in my opinion. So my last pairing for Sunshine Mimosa, I decided to use Bombshell by Victoria's Secret, which is like a classic fragrance. I just, I don't use her very often, so I figured that she needed a turn, and this is like a fruity, floral fragrance. Sometimes it's a little too heavy on the floral, in my opinion, but it actually paired really nice with the Sunshine Mimosa. Like, that helped bring out, like, the fruitiness in it, and it was much more enjoyable to me. So this was nice. I like this one. Next, I moved on to Fresh Sparkling Snow, which is just a really beautiful melon scent. Like, that's the main note that I smell in this, is the melon. And it's absolutely delicious. I know it's marketed as a winter scent, but it's totally a year-round scent. It's very, very fruity. And then on top of that, I paired my Yum Pistachio Gelato by Kayali, which I know people went crazy over the summer. Either you loved it or you hated it. You couldn't believe that she made a pistachio ice cream scent and it didn't smell like pistachio ice cream, but it's absolutely delicious. Like, it's so sweet and light and it's just beautiful. And I think it pairs so well with so many things. And this was really, really nice. I like this one. It's great for the heat. Like this is a good, like hot summer day scent. Next up, I decided to pair my Fresh Sparkling Snow with my Black Opium Illicit Green. So this is a perfume that I haven't used too many times, maybe once, but I do like it. It's just kind of hard for me to figure out what to pair with it. Like it's sweet. It has pear, it has fig, it has vanilla and coffee. Like, it's a really pretty scent. It's just not one that I'm gravitating towards. Maybe I will more in the winter time. I'm not sure. But I enjoyed this. This was a really nice one. My last pairing for Fresh Sparkling Snow, I used this perfume that I got at the oil bar. This is a honeydew perfume. So I basically bought it because I wanted something that smelled like Summer Melody. And you can, like, mix your own perfumes at the oil bar. You can even do it online. You can pick what scent you want. You can tell them, I want 20% of this and 40% of that and another 40% of that or whatever you want in there. And that's pretty awesome. I think that's really cool. Except for when I made this one, I forgot to put the vanilla in it. So it's just straight honeydew, but that's okay. It does actually smell a lot like Summer Melody. <laughs> so I, I'm not disappointed in it. I love it. It smells great. And this went just so well with the fresh sparkling snow because that melon is so heavy in that scent. So this was great. Next, I moved on to Mango Temptation by Victoria's Secret, which just smells like sweet mangoes to me. I really like this scent. I think it's one of the best ones that I've ever had from them. And I decided to pair it with Fame by Paco Rabanne, which is, of course is a mango scent. It's very beachy. Like I can smell like the sunscreen kind of vibe in it, but it's not like that kind of vibe that I don't like because most of the time I don't really like sunscreen type of scents. But this one's really nice. Like the the mango goes really well with it. It's really pretty. I like this one a lot. So next up with my Mango Temptation, I decided to use my Yara Taos, which is their newest one. So this one has mango in it. And to me, it smells very similar to Paco Rabanne's Fame, but the mango is just stronger. I actually really like this perfume, and I think it gets better as it gets older, as do many perfumes. But I really like this one. I enjoy that mango fruity note that I smell. And... I'm not disappointed in it. I like this one. So my last layering combination for Mango Temptation, I decided to use Electric Fantasy by Britney Spears. So this is a fruity but kind of spicy fragrance. I like it. It has pink pepper in it and it kind of just gives it a little kick. It was really nice with the mango. Like it was just like, you know, people put tahini on fruit. Like there you go. Like that was the perfume version of that. Like it was great. I love this one. My last layering combo for the month, I decided to use Victoria's Secret 
Secret Sunrise. So this is a berries and freesia scent. I don't really pick up on the freesia. I don't smell the floral. It just kind of smells like a sweet fruity scent to me and I really really enjoy it. And I decided to pair my Ariana Grande God is a Woman on top of it which to me smells like a really pretty shampoo. Like it's like fruity and clean and sweet. It's just really nice. I like this perfume a lot. It is light but you know what whatever spray some more. You know I know people don't like it when scents are light but you know what just spray some more. Like that's what I do. I just spray a lot and it's it works out fine for me. So that is everything that I layered together this month. Did you put anything together that you really liked? Let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.